It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 35. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where you can hear some popular blogs covering health and fitness, read to you by me, Dr. Neil. But on Fridays, I do something special. I take your audio questions from our website, oldpodcast.com, play them right here, and answer them for you. Now, if you're new here, you may wonder, why is this guy so special? Why should I bother wasting my time listening to this? And why should I take his advice on anything? So really quickly, here are my credentials. I have my Doctor of Public Health degree. I'm also a registered dietitian nutritionist and a certified personal trainer or exercise physiologist, same thing in my case. And I'm also core faculty and professor at Bastyr University, California, where I teach students in the Master of Science in Nutrition for Wellness program. So how can you submit a question? You can actually send in a voice message at our website, oldpodcast.com. It's really easy, and you can do as many takes as you want, and there's a good chance I'll answer it right here on the show. Also, we're doing some special raffles for people that send in a question. So you'll have a really good chance of winning books and lots and lots more. So again, just come by oldpodcast.com, submit an audio question, and you can get some advice pretty quickly and for free. All right, let's hear today's question and start optimizing your life. Hi, I would like to ask a question. I need some information about what's the best breakfast. I still am stuck on eating oatmeal with some nuts, raisins, and a little bit of fruit, but I hear so much about the negative aspect of all these carbs. Uh, Any suggestions for me, or am I okay to eat my carbs? I guess this question comes up because there's so much talk about eating more fruits and vegetables and cutting back on the carbs. So can you give me some advice? Do I need to get rid of all my carbs? Any help you could give me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Ah, breakfast. Some of you may dread the thought of breakfast. It's just never been a meal you could get ever used to eating. I was actually like that for a long time. For others, you would love to eat breakfast if you only had the time in the morning to make it. So whatever your situation may be, I think you'll still find this topic really useful because I'm going to provide some easy, lower-carb breakfast ideas that are tasty too. Breakfast is, quote, the most important meal of the day, right? Well, while that's still debated, I appreciate Lori's question about carbohydrate intake at breakfast time. I mean, think about the most common breakfast foods. Go ahead, I'll actually give you a second to picture them. Now, I wonder how many of you are thinking about some form of cold cereal first? Or maybe it was oatmeal, as Lori mentioned. Or maybe it's grits or malto meal, basically the same thing. I hope there aren't too many of you that began drooling at the thought of Frosted Flakes or Trick Cereal or my childhood favorite, Cocoa Puffs. Now, on a side note, occasionally even I will indulge in these sugary kids' cereals, but I treat them actually as a dessert, never as a breakfast. And if you listened earlier this week, remember, we don't want to keep anything off limits when it comes to our diets. We want to indulge, just maybe occasionally. All right, back to my original point. What are some other common breakfast foods? Think about it. Bagels, toast, English muffins, pancakes, crepes, waffles, croissants, danishes, muffins. All right, let me think. What else does IHOP serve? What else does Denny serve? Oh, well, how could I forget about one of my most beloved foods, the donut? Then what happens after we eat all of these foods? We wash it all down with a glass of milk or orange juice, both of which are high in carbohydrates. Now, I obviously didn't list every single breakfast food item out there. Yes, I know I didn't mention eggs. I hope you noticed a theme, though. Many breakfast foods are high in carbohydrates. And unless you're really good and opt for whole grain varieties, these are going to be highly refined, highly processed carbohydrates. Translation, lots of simple sugars. And because you're a listener of this podcast, you likely take great care in choosing only those foods that will help promote health and make you feel better. Plus, in a previous podcast, I discussed the relationship between sugar and simple sugars and insulin and risk of disease. 
So how do we turn breakfast into a meal that supports our goals of optimal health and wellness? Well, based on the foods I just listed, this can be tricky. In fact, I'll share with you a quick example. When I was in school, as part of my research, I had to create menus for those that were following a lower carbohydrate diet. Sure enough, the most difficult meal to plan was breakfast. So many of the breakfast foods that are readily available are heavy in carbohydrates. So I had a really difficult time keeping my patient's total carbohydrate intake within the boundaries we had set for the research. At one point, the low carbohydrate diet followers began complaining to me, eggs again? Can we have something else? I would love a piece of toast, but I couldn't give it to them. One piece of toast would have put them too close to their carbohydrate limit for the day. So for those of you that want to keep your carbohydrate intake on the lower side during breakfast, it doesn't mean you need to completely avoid all carbohydrates. Instead, we just don't want your carb intake to get out of hand right off the bat first thing in the morning. So here is what I would recommend. Number one, definitely incorporate foods like eggs, egg whites, plain Greek yogurt, and cottage cheese. Don't forget, those are nice and palatable in the morning and serve nicely as breakfast foods. Even if you're following a lower carbohydrate diet, you still can incorporate some carbohydrates with breakfast. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't go overboard. For example, eating one regularly sized bagel would be going overboard. Why? Yes, bagels are higher in protein than most other breads, I get it, but they're also very high in carbohydrate. In fact, eating one regular sized bagel has the same amount of carbohydrate as eating four slices of toast. Would you eat four slices of toast for breakfast? I hope not. So why would you eat a bagel then? For the protein? Come on. So instead, what I would do is have two scrambled eggs and one whole grain waffle topped with fruit or on the side. Or you could do one cup of plain Greek yogurt topped with half a cup of berries. Or one whole English muffin, yes, both halves are okay because an English muffin is perfectly portioned out, topped with two tablespoons of peanut butter or some other nut butter, and one medium banana sliced on top. Or you could have a two egg omelet with a quarter cup diced red and green bell peppers, some onions and sliced mushrooms, topped with three slices of avocado. Now there's a nice way to get in some extra vegetable servings too. And yes, oatmeal is just great. Just try and select the steel cut oat variety as opposed to the instant or quick oats that come prepackaged with those flavorings and sugars already added. And I like Lori's idea of topping oatmeal with fruit and nuts, like walnuts or almonds. This is really nutritious and balanced because it contains whole grains, fiber, and those come from the oats, along with the nuts and the fruit, protein found in the oats and the nuts, heart-healthy fats from the nuts, and lots of antioxidants, which is found in all of the ingredients, the oatmeal, the nuts, and the fruits. Now, you may be tempted to want to skip the carb altogether and just load up on high-protein foods, especially the bacon and sausage. Just keep in mind, a number of studies have linked, get it, link, linked, pun intended, these types of processed meats have been linked with certain forms of cancer. Now again, this doesn't mean you need to completely avoid bacon and sausage for the rest of your life. Just consume them in moderation. Now, I will post some lower carbohydrate breakfast ideas on our website, oldpodcast.com. I will give you about a week's worth of breakfast ideas, but what I think would also be helpful is go ahead and send us some of your lower carb breakfast favorites and you can send in your menu ideas via our website, oldpodcast.com, and we'll post them there, provided that they're approved by me first. Thank you so much for your question, Lori. I hope that answers your question. And don't forget, you're gonna be entered into a very small raffle to win a free book. Now, if you wanna be on this show and have a really good chance to win free books like Lori, come by oldpodcast.com to submit your question there's a good chance it'll be played and answered right here on the podcast. You can use your computer's microphone to send in a question or even your phone if you get the app. Just visit oldpodcast.com. If you can believe it, that's 35 episodes of Optimal Health Daily in the can. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for sharing this podcast. And I will be back on Monday where your optimal life awaits.
Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.